All right, so we're going to talk about automated broadcast acquisition for playout. Uh, my name is Sarah Devaney. I am the marketing and operations director for Crispin Corporation. We have been part of the Sony family for about a year now. Um, we're excited to further integrate our product set with the Sony products, and um, this solution is a great example of that. So I'm going to take you through the details. Um, we'll walk you through a workflow, show you some screenshots, um, kind of walk you through those as well, so you can get a good idea on uh, the full powerful um, options that are behind the solution. So we call this solution the Managed Media Distribution Center. Um, acronym for short, MMDC. So what is MMDC? The idea behind it is we're going to help you streamline your content capture and your prep for air. We're going to make more efficient use of your resources. So your transcoders. You have multiple transcoders across your station group. We could transcode in one location and share it across the country to other station groups. Uh, also saves in those operational resources. Basically, the, the idea behind it is we're automating those processes to acquire that content and the associated metadata with it. So what makes up MMDC? Let's talk about the components of MMDC. We've got the cloud, Sony C. We've got Crispin's loading dock, which is the central hub of operations for the MMDC solution. And we've got a transcoder of your choice. So really, we don't dictate what is necessary for your facility and your formats. Um, we are going to let you kind of pick what you already have, whether it be on-prem, or you can have the option to transcode in the cloud with Sony C. So now that you know the full, the, all the different pieces of MMDC, let's talk really about the heart and soul of the solution, which brings me to Crispin's loading dock. So what exactly is Crispin's loading dock? It is a management platform, and it's here to help you automate your file acquisition um, requirements. We're going to help you streamline those. We're going to, here again, help you reduce those time and co time costs for like, your daily interactions and requirements in your, in your station. For Crispin customers, this is a free upgrade to Loading Dock from the current DTA solution. So we're going to continue to automate these processes for capturing your content um, at your facility. Um, if you're not a Crispin customer, we don't dictate what automation system you have to work with. So you have the capability of being using the loading dock in the MMDC solution, but not being a traditional Crispin broadcast automation um, customer. So we have a lot of flexibility. Which brings me to my next slide. The idea behind MMDC is we're powerful, modern, and flexible. So the idea behind flexible is, as Crispin's motto from the beginning, when we first developed the, the product set 20 years ago, we wanted a kind of plug and play solution so that we could say, not one size fits all for every customer. We want to make this optional for you so that it fits your workflow. We're not going to dictate. We can obviously make some great suggestions, but we're not going to say you have to do it one way versus another. So with that being said, combining it with C or the cloud for station groups, you can talk dock to dock. So within your company, you can share that content between different locations without ever having to push it to the cloud or having different locations handle different aspects of that content. We also, like I mentioned before, as a DTA replacement, it can work as a standalone option. So the idea here is Loading Dock is that automation agnostic solution, but it's going to work for your facility um, no matter what your workflow is. So now let me take you through the Loading Dock workflow. From start to finish, we're going to take you through your catch server all the way to pushing it to air. So first and foremost, Loading Dock integrates directly with your long and your short form catch servers. So your Pitch Blue, your Pathfire, your Extreme Reach. Um, I won't read the whole list for you. You can read it. But you kind of get the idea here. The idea is we're integrating into those current providers that you're already using. And we're going to capture that, that content and the metadata associated with it. So that capture step, that's a big step in your, in your solution. So we're, how does that happen? We're taking your traffic instructions via a dub list, whether it be a group dub list or a standalone dub list at your, at your local station, and using that information to dictate what content we're capturing when and how. So we also have the option, like I mentioned, for the catch server integration, but we're, we can do satellite recordings. Like our current DTA product offers now, you have that satellite recordings uh, via baseband ingest. 
We also have added the option for a web form upload tool. So this gives you the capability to really change your workflow, uh, whether it be internally or externally. So your local ad agencies can upload externally from your facility or if your promotions department, they're all the time creating great content that you'd like to utilize um, more regularly and this could streamline that process to getting it into the system for, for your um, content capture. So we've integrated to the catch server, we've captured that content and now we need to transcode it. So as I mentioned before, your transcoder can be any of your transcoders of choice. So we've got the Elemental, the Carbon, your Telestream. It's really whatever file formats you're dictating for your, your own station group. We also have the option to transcode in the cloud with C. I know I mentioned this before. So at this point, you've got your content, you've got it in the format that you're looking for, and maybe you've pushed it to the cloud to transcode in C, maybe you have it, maybe it's still all local on-prem. But now we need to prep this. So we're prepping your content. I'm going to take you through a couple of um, just high level details on what the prep tool is capable of doing. And then later when we get to the um, screen capture, you'll get a better idea of the full capability. So the idea here is we're going to prep and share this, this content within your entire company. We're going to allow, we give you the tools to QC it. Oh, wrong way to QC it, review, and prep this content via, there's a low res proxy so that you can view it as you're prepping it. You can remark as, you, as needed. Um, and we also give you the option to automatically create multiple file formats. Um, so you here again are dictating what, what prep you need to do for your station. Um, and we also can save and deliver uh, multiple program segment formats. So if you have a barter or a double barter or just your local version that you want to um, make a file format for, for your segment format, you have that option. And here again, like I mentioned, the idea behind Crispin's loading dock is we want to be flexible. We're not dictating. So you can change this workflow in our company to monetize this prep tool for what makes sense for your station group. So maybe one, station, one loading dock location is capturing this content and a different location is pulling it from the cloud and doing the prep based on what your resources allow for. Um, or you're capturing and transcoding all of this content, prepping at one time, one location, pushing to the cloud, and all your other locations are pulling that content down and not having to do anything else for it to go to air based on your station needs. So there's a lot of different ways that you can customize this workflow to fit your needs. So we've captured this content, we've transcoded it, maybe we've pushed to the cloud, we've prepped it, we're ready to receive and deliver it or push and pull. So maybe we're pushing and pulling it to the cloud, pushing it to the cloud or pulling from the cloud and maybe if someone else had prepped this content for you. Um, we also give you that capability on demand to push dock to dock. So if you are not utilizing the, the cloud at this, at this stage, you have the opportunity to push it to your sister station. Um, or maybe at this point you're ready to push to video server for air. Maybe you're done, you've gone through all of your steps and you're ready to push that content. So we give you all of this, those capabilities because we for integrate to all of your major video servers. So your Harmonic, your Grass Valley, your Imagine. But we also give you the option here to, at this stage, take it to a next level. So your NAS or maybe even an edit bay, maybe at this point you're ready for additional graphic overlay or, or uh, the next step of your local facility. So the idea here is we're streamlining this process. We're, we, there's a lot of common content happening across your station group. So we're helping streamline this and help you cr cut down on those costs of transcoding costs of your time and effort for your, for your operators um, so they can focus on more important tasks. So we've taken you through the entire workflow. So what does this mean in an MMDC solution? Because this is Crispin's loading dock. So what does this mean in a group solution? We're talking about each station has the capability to do all of these functions. And it's really mandated by you and your station group on how you want to utilize each location. So each location has the opportunity to capture that content, prep it, push it to air, or push it to dock to dock, push it to another uh, local station, or up to the cloud. So you really have a lot of flexibility and power behind this solution to really fit what your station group needs are. So like I mentioned before, we're not dictating workflow, we're giving you the option to really utilize all of the pieces of the puzzle to make it fit for you. 
So as I mentioned, we're gonna take you through a couple of screen captures here. Um, this is the prep tool. So you'll see on the top left um, is a lo your low res proxy. So while you're prepping your content, you do have that visual cue to say, okay, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, the bottom left, you also have associated metadata that allows for some editing capabilities. Um, this is where you would create forms if you have uh, like a single barter or double barter um, segment formats that you'd like to automatically create through, the, through Loading Doc and the MMDC solution. In the center, you'll see uh, uh, your segment rundown. Basically, it's going to be color coded by your segment breaks, your program breaks, and your commercial breaks. Um, so it kind of keeps that ease of use by just being able to glance at it and see what it is that you're working on. Your top right, um, we've got your program information. This is all the associated metadata that also came through from your catch server or maybe your web upload tool from your local um, ad agency. They fill out a form online as they're uploading this content into your system and now you have the capability of viewing all of this content. Um, another great thing, when uh, Crispin in, is interfacing with um, Sony C, we're able to utilize the API to get full audio levels. So as you're editing, you have a lot more capability of viewing those levels and the mapping. Um, so it's a great tool. There's a lot of capability behind it and a lot, of, lot more options than more than I'm even going through today. So definitely make sure you come by and um, ask for a, a loading doc demo, because we can the guys can answer a lot of questions and give you a lot more information. Um, next, I'm going to take you through program status report. We call it the PSR, but the idea behind this is another web tool. All of these are web tools, so you can get online and view it, and it, it gives you an overall program system view of your workflow statuses. So what's happening, where it's happening, what needs to be done, so you can see what's in progress, what's completed, is something waiting for approval? Um, was there an error? And it's a quick glance so that you can see across your entire station workflow where that intervention needs to happen or make sure everything's running smoothly. So it's just a great operator tool at quick glance. And you can drill down on a lot more information within the PSR as well. So that kind of wraps me up, but let's talk about the perks of the MMDC solution one more time because there is a great way to save you money and time. Like I mentioned before, it's flexible and configurable. The idea here is we're not dictating your workflow. We want you to tell us how you want to use it, but we can make those recommendations to really streamline those processes and automate them for you. Here again, the operational efficiencies cut down on that time spent on, on, meaning, on tasks that could be automated. Here again, saving time and labor savings. Um, the flexibility with it being web-based adds a lot, of, a lot of room for being able to configure it for your system how you want. And we also, with the Loading Dock product, offer on-site storage. So you do have that local on-prem storage with the solution as well. As I mentioned too, the solution is automation agnostic. So the best part of it all is everyone can be a Crispin customer and an MMDC Sony solution. Um, we're excited about the product. It's been a great next phase of our Crispin product set. And um, we hope that you can come by and check us out. We are in the Crispin booth across the hall right here next to the Sony booth. We also have a kiosk set up right here where Greg is um, manning for us um, to uh, get a full demo, get the full load loading dock breakdown of the, and see the PSR in person. So. Um, we also have a lot of other exciting things that we have going on with Crispin, and we're excited to share. Uh, at 4.30, Ali and Joe Walker with Crispin will also be going through master control for disaster recovery. So a lot of these products all tie in together for a full system solution if, if, you, if that's where you wanted to head. But we're excited about our products, and we hope that you come check us out for more information. Thank you so much.